In this video I will show you how to use the dispatcher game in uh, Digitrains. So let's start the program and uh, the first step always before we uh, make a layout uh, actually is to check the accessories in the accessory menu. Uh, we will do this, uh, this layout with these two stations. If you touch the pencil icon on the top right then you can go to the, to the editor mode and now we will make a new layout uh, you, you can make a new layout with this four small rectangle icon and on the left you can see that now there was a drop down list uh, you can select the, the track parts what you want to put to the layout from that uh, drop down list so now we will make the, the platforms for our station if you touch any of the uh, rectangles it, uh, it will became to that track part and uh, if you touch again the same uh, you can delete actually what you put there or there is also an empty uh, rectangle in the drop down list at the top now I will put the turnouts from the list and I will just make the video faster and we will do the other station with uh, two platforms okay when we are ready with this one uh, we press the uh, save icon this disk icon and give a name to our uh, layout and save Okay, now we will put the accessories to our layout. If you long touch any of the uh, the rectangles, you can you can uh, match an accessory to this part of the layout. This is an important part here. Here is a reverse accessory status. Uh, so if you press here the accessories, the turnouts, uh, the signals, and it doesn't show the same physically on your layout, then you should uh, put this enable this checkbox to change the. Uh, change the status status of the accessory uh, to show it correctly on, on the layout. So now I uh, long touch the, the turnouts and uh, the accessories menu come up automatically and I can uh, match the accessories there and there is also uh, a checkbox and with this you can also change the, the status of, of the accessories but it's, it is different from the, uh, from the one which, I which was in the accessories menu so now I put all my six uh, turnouts and now I will put signals also long touch any part of the layout and then select uh, one of the signals from this list and uh, for the signals you can also also select the, the direction uh, of the uh, of the signals so it will help you to to see uh, the signal position and where it is uh, directed actually Okay, I have six signals uh, at this two platform station. These signals are uh, two uh, with two lights, so it can be green or red. Okay, I save the layout, and now I will choose from the drop down list this uh, blue button, and these actually these points are the start and the end points of of the route. So I will now put uh, these buttons, long touch any of them, and then short touch the other one. It will select actually the start and end point of a route. And then you can select um, the route on your layout. Actually, if it is selected, it will be green. So when you will later select any of these routes, it will be colorized on the screen. So it will help you to see 
the uh, the root which is selected if you long touch uh, any of the accessories during the selection of a root then uh, it will change the status so that that is how you can uh, set uh, for example the turnout status so you need to see a long touch and then it changes to curved um, uh, you need to to set the layout uh, from from both direction. Uh, I mean the route from both direction because maybe it on some stations it can be different and also if you have signals uh, they will be different and you will see it at the bottom station at the put the two platform station. And one more important thing that I usually don't select the start point for a route, but I select the end point for the route. Um, this is good so you cannot uh, uh, send two trains uh, uh, from uh, opposite to each other to the same track for example uh, but you can uh, you can make uh, make one route from two routes actually if you want uh, a train to go through the station and not to stop so you can set both ends actually uh, for the station so uh, now let's see the bottom part uh, as you can see uh, with the long touches I also select the the status of the of the signals and there is one important thing that now it is red so the bottom signal was red and now you will see that the top signal I will select red for this other route and it is because uh, if you touch once any of the rectangles it will be uh, with a green rectangle it means it is selected for a route uh, but if you touch it again it will be red rectangle so that means that it is uh, not belonging for the root so the track itself will not be green but the accessory which is on that rectangle must uh, must be changed and uh, it will be changed for the status what you set here so with the with the long touch you can set the status of the of the signals so as you can see you can prevent another train from the other platform to go out when the route is selected for the other platform and also the other signal which is uh, outside of the station will show red so no train will come from that direction so it's just a little automatization actually to have for the dispatcher okay now we'll make the video faster again so I will do actually the same on the other part of my station I do the same with the signals always one is green only the others are red okay and now we are ready with the with the route so I press the pencil icon and I go to the command mode actually from editor mode and now you can see that uh, with two touches selecting the start and the end point we can select the roots here you don't need to long touch the start only for uh, only in the editor you need to long touch okay and you can see that the sign is also changing automatically uh, if the advanced logic mode uh, it's the icon beside the eye the information icon actually is uh, switched on then uh, you cannot uh, select routes which are uh, crossing each other for example and also it's the same if uh, if you have occupancy detectors and and if a track is occupied you cannot uh, send the train there uh, on the bottom right on the screen there is a green button and there is a turnout button the green button with the green button you can uh, uh, release the roots uh, with double press uh, and with a single press uh, uh, pressing it and when you select the endpoint of a route you can release only that one route which you press actually the end endpoint okay and the other the turnout icon is good for uh, to change any of the accessories like turnouts and signals so you need to uh, press that button and and in this time you need to press also a signal or uh, turnout. It's quite complicated, but uh, if you press the i uh, the information icon, then you can you can just uh, check out the documentation uh, and see the details.
okay uh, this is uh, for the blocks this icon so you can put this uh, block icons uh, as many as many block you have and then when you long touch a block icon you can select the the block actually with with red and then when you press the save button um, you you can uh, give the address of the occupancy feedback detector and also which input you use on it so i use the uh, address one occupancy detector and now this uh, platform is the input input two this will be the input three <coughs> So to select any of the of the blocks, long touch any of these uh, block icons, and then with uh, touches you can select the block and then s set uh, set an address. Okay, now we go back to the common mode. And af actually, if you have uh, tracks on on these platforms, on these blogs, then it will be reported to Digitrains, and it will colorize to red uh, that blocks. Okay, and I will show that how easy to uh, control two or more trains from a tablet, for example. Um, you just uh, control them, changing the speed, and then with a the touch you can go to the dispatcher game and uh, select the routes to go into the platforms go back to the trains and stop them when they are arriving uh, this is also available on phones of course so i mean the dispatcher dispatcher game is available on phones as well for more information please visit uh, digitrains app on google plus or facebook you can find also documentations there and uh, you can download the the application from the google play